Uh, how long have you been here in the Philippines? I've been here for seven years. Actually. Seven freaking years. Yeah. My experience so far, it's. Uh... So how long have you been here in the Philippines? Um, it's been five years now. So do you recommend people from your country coming here to the Philippines? Come here to the country. What shock you the most about the country? Hello. Hi. Hi, How, hi. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Paulo Stekhal and I'm from Eritrea. You are from Eritrea. Beautiful country, man. Beautiful yeah. people. Nice, very nice people. Made a lot of friends. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's very good. How long have you been? How long have you been here in the Philippines? I've been here for seven years. Actually. Seven freaking years. Yeah. What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Kinsley and I'm from Nigeria. You are from Nigeria. Yes. Man, I, I, people here are very rare. I, I, you are the first one from Nigeria I meet. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what, what do you do here in the Philippines? Are you a student or are you working here? Okay, I'm, I'm a student. Okay. I'm also a freelance model. Freelance models. Yes. That's very good. That's very good. That's very nice. That's crazy. That's amazing. You came here as a student or? Yeah, yeah. I came, I'm actually still a student. So. Seven years. How how did you spend the seven years? All of in the Manila or yeah. somewhere else? No, no. I've been studying in Baguio City. Baguio. So okay. Where, where are you? What's your name and where are you from? Uh, my name is Virgil. Virgil. I'm from Ivory Coast. Avera Coast. Yeah, Ivory Coast. Okay. So this is the English name, but the original name is mm -hmm. Kodiwa. Kodiwa. Okay, yeah. I heard about it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are French-speaking country. Okay. So, the name so uh, what do you do? You, you you studying here? What what type? Of, what are you studying? Okay, I study IT. IT. Masters. Master in IT. So how is your? You been? How long have you been here? You said five months. Yes. Five months. So how is your experience for the half five months? Uh, overall nice. that's very right so how long have you been here in the philippines um it's been five years now you've five been five years, years. Oh, yeah, okay yeah. so you came here as a student uh no i came here as okay because I'm uh, you came here. as as what worker I'm worker here, okay so you here, came yeah. here for work yeah. so how's your experience for the five years um, in the philippines so far so good uh -huh. um in the beginning it was a bit difficult because of yeah. the food yeah but now it's okay i try to adjust mm. but okay it's okay now i'm i'm, I'm, okay, I'm better yeah so my experience so far it's um 90 percent mm -hmm. good experience 90 percent is good experience yes. what about the 10 percent <laughs> <laughs> the 10 percent is basically yeah. language barrier language barrier yeah yes i'm having problem with Okay, yes, the, 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 the language itself. But if you stay here long, you will get it. Yeah, I, I hope. Even though I know I'm not a language person, yeah. so I know with time I will. Yeah, yeah, for I sure. Language, yeah, so. for sure. So, you, do you love the country? Are you regret coming here? What was the situation? No, no regrets. No I'm regrets. Old, yeah. No regret. Yes. So how's the people? Are they welcoming? Are they nice people, cool people, or what's up? Yeah, they are. Uh, uh -huh. yes, uh, mm -hmm. They are cool. Uh -huh. um, apart from the, the language barrier, it, they are it just very yeah. good people. So, so you you're enjoying your time here. Yeah, you enjoying yeah. your time here. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's very nice. So you mainly you staying in the Manila, yeah? Yes, I am okay. staying at uh, Quezon City. Okay, okay, that's very nice. So, how's your experience for the seven years in the, in the country? How it's amazing. Amazing. It's like my second home now. It's second, yeah, second home. Second home. You regret? Do you feel like regretting coming to the Philippines sometime? No, 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 never, never. Ne never. Never. Yeah, yeah. Never Why is that so? It's an amazing place. Everyone's friendly. Uh, the food is lovely. Uh -huh. the people are lovely. Okay. Uh, and I, you cannot find any uh, dangerous activity. I never, I was never in a dangerous situation. Here. Okay. So everything is very friendly. So. What about the safety situation and like safety stuff? Is the country safe? You been in Baguio for for the seven years? Yeah, is it? Yeah. Baguio city is like a small small city, so everyone uh -huh. knows each other. Everybody knows yeah, each everyone other. Everyone knows each other, so it's yeah, yeah. impossible for anyone to steal or to have uh, okay. to die or to kill something. Okay, like that. Okay. It's, not, it's very safe. safe so it's very safe. safe city. So Baguio city is very beautiful place. Must must visit. Yeah, it's cold cold weather. So 3 a.m. you can go out. Okay, it's, it's the coldest city. place in the Philippines. I feel, I feel like is I it? I think maybe because the place is somewhere in the it's mountain. Yes, yeah. yeah. So you get used to it already. Yeah. So 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 you you been only in uh, Manila or you been outside of Manila? Uh, I've been outside Manila. Okay. But, but just for vacation, not for work. For vacation, not yeah, for, for work. Vacation, yeah, not okay. For work. Yeah. So you spend most of your time here in Manila. In Manila, yeah, exactly. Okay, okay, exactly. So that's very good. That's very nice. So uh, regarding works, how is it work in the Philippines? Is it good? Is it or or, or not? It's okay or? Uh, no? It's okay. It's good for me. Okay. It's, it's good. It was better. Okay. But now. It's, okay. It's so okay, what, what shocked you the most? Like go go back seven years ago when you come to the Philippines. What shocked you the most about the country? 
the culture. The culture. The culture is very different here because in my mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. we're usually uh, hugging when yeah. you say hi, hug, yeah. and then kiss. Beso, yeah. Beso, yeah. yeah. Here, it's like. Not even handshake. <laughs> like, how are you? Yeah. Sometimes uh, fist bumps, sometimes fist bumps. handshake. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then of course the balot, the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dang. I don't know. It's like once they open it, it's, yeah. like, uh, it's baby duck. Baby duck. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> it, you, you're not going to eat yeah. it, yeah. But that's amazing. That's amazing. But overall, do you do you recommend people coming to visit the country? Of course, of course. You can learn English. You can learn. Um, any anything you want to learn, yeah. it's, it's available here. It's you available here. So 100 percent. So yeah, yeah. thank you very much. Thank you for time. Do you have any Instagram or something you want to shout out? Uh, my Facebook is Paulus Takala, which is P A U L O S T E C L E. Oh. And TikTok and Instagram it's Kung Paulus. So K U N G P A U L O S. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you for time. So how's that the experience you with Filipino people? Are they nice people? Are they welcoming or uh, how is it the situation? Uh, welcoming people. Nice people. Yeah, nice people. Okay. Yeah, I don't have any issue with the Philippines. Okay. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, do you have any shock about the culture once you came here to the country? What shocked you the most about the country? Um, I would say the food, but actually the, uh -huh. the culture. Uh, uh -huh. The culture is almost the same. Almost as the same. In my country. Okay. But except the food, they, uh, they have something called balut. Balut, yeah. Yeah, that's the, the egg, only yeah. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you tried it or no? Uh, no, 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 I never tried it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I saw someone in the boat, I just thought my A little bit crazy, yeah? yeah but this is this culture, but it's cool. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. this uh, That's amazing. What, what shocked me That's when, I came, when I first came here. That's amazing. Yeah. So you love the country uh, overall, your experience is okay. Yeah, it's you okay, recommend it's the country for people from your country to come and visit here? Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you very much. Thank yeah, you very much. You can share out your Instagram. Uh, what's your Instagram? Can you? Okay, my name on Instagram is Kinsley Gidobi. Kinsley G D O P J I D E O D. All right, all right. Now, guys, you go make sure you go and follow. So, do you recommend people from your country coming here to the Philippines? Yes, 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 yes. Before I came here mm -hmm. to the Philippines, a lot of Nigerians would tell me, oh, "Why Philippines? You it's know? dangerous, you yeah, know." All that, but uh, yeah, yeah. Know, yeah. So it's safe. Yeah, very safe. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Let's look at some key reasons why the Philippines is a welcoming place for everyone. 1. Warm hospitality. Filipinos are famous for their warm hospitality. This means they are very friendly and welcoming to visitors and newcomers. When someone new comes to their country, Filipinos often go out of their way to make them feel at home. They might invite you to their homes for meals, show you around the city, or help you with any problems you might have. This kind nature is part of their culture and is called pakikisama, which means getting along with others. In the Philippines, it's common to see big smiles and friendly faces everywhere you go. People often greet strangers with a warm hello or good morning. They are genuinely interested in getting to know you and making sure you feel comfortable. This hospitality makes it easy for people from other countries to feel welcome and appreciated. Many foreigners have shared stories about how Filipino families invited them to join in on family gatherings, parties, and celebrations. These experiences make them feel like they are part of the community. The friendly atmosphere makes it easier for newcomers to adjust to their new surroundings and build strong relationships with locals. Overall, the warm hospitality of Filipinos helps create a positive and welcoming environment for everyone, regardless of where they come from. This friendly nature is one of the main reasons why many people from different countries, including those from Africa, feel happy and comfortable living in the Philippines. 2. Friendliness and Kindness Filipinos are known for their friendliness and kindness. This means they are very nice and helpful to others. They often go out of their way to make sure others are happy and comfortable. This attitude is part of their culture and everyday life. For example, if you are lost or need help, you can ask any Filipino and they will gladly assist you. They might even walk with you to your destination to make sure you get there safely. This kind of behavior is common in the Philippines, and it makes life easier for foreigners who are new to the country. In public places like markets, shops, and restaurants, 
Filipinos are usually very polite and respectful. They greet you with a smile and are happy to help you with anything you need. This friendliness makes daily interactions pleasant and stress-free. Many foreigners have shared stories of how Filipinos help them in times of need, whether it's lending a hand during an emergency or simply offering kind words. Filipinos are quick to show their support. This kindness creates a positive environment where people feel safe and cared for. Living in a country where people are consistently friendly and kind makes a big difference in one's experience. It helps build a sense of community and belonging, which is very important for newcomers. This positive attitude is one of the reasons why many people from Africa and other parts of the world enjoy living in the Philippines. 3. English Proficiency One of the great things about the Philippines is that many people speak English. This makes it much easier for foreigners to communicate and get around. English is one of the official languages in the Philippines, and it is taught in schools from a young age. As a result, most Filipinos can speak and understand English very well. For newcomers, This means that they can easily ask for directions, order food in restaurants, and have conversations with locals without any language barriers. This makes daily life much more convenient and less stressful. Whether you are shopping, visiting tourist spots, or dealing with government offices, you can expect to be able to communicate in English. Having a common language also helps in making friends and building relationships. Foreigners can easily join social activities, attend events, and participate in community gatherings because they can communicate with others in English. This helps them feel included and part of the community. Furthermore, the use of English in schools and workplaces means that there are many opportunities for education and employment for English-speaking foreigners. They can pursue studies or careers in the Philippines without having to learn a new language. This makes the Philippines an attractive destination for students, professionals, and entrepreneurs from around the world. Overall, the widespread use of English in the Philippines helps create a welcoming and accessible environment for foreigners. It removes language barriers and makes it easier for them to integrate into society making their experience in the country more enjoyable and fulfilling.